Welcome back, subscribers. So I just wanted to tell you, a lot of people <laughs> are still talking like, oh yeah, Bitcoin is going to the moon, going to the moon, going to the moon, going to the moon, going to the moon. Is it annoying yet? It's kind of annoying, right? <laughs> and I know I keep talking about this magical line. We have to get above this line, truthfully closing, if we ever want to see 70,000. That's just plain and simple. We've got to get above the simple moving average. Get it? Plain and simple, simple moving average. This line is just an imaginary line that traders and market makers use to determine how to just trap people with bull traps and have them just throw money at you and then rug pull by having it go back down. Like, yeah, I am still super bullish on Bitcoin long term. I'm never going to sell my long term holding of Bitcoin and... Truthfully, most of my trading is done in perpetual contracts to where it's just more Bitcoin. So every time I short Bitcoin, when I win, I win more Bitcoin. That's why I believe in it so much. I'm not taking money out of my trading account. No, that's that's dumb. But I want people to pay attention to this because everyone is so, so incredibly bullish on this going up. And we need to break this line of 48,500 in order to bump up. It's not that hard to figure out that we have to break above that and we're having some sincere resistance to this level. It, it Yes, there's a lot of better traders out there and people that, quite honestly, might know not know what the fuck they're talking about and they're just, they don't have any reason as to why this might be a resistance level and, 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 and right well let me give you one 2018 this was crypto winter and what is this we're talking over a time frame of from the death cross let's let's actually let's just look at it when did we eventually get back above this do 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 and things just hauled F and ass. Do, do, do. 387 days. This was over a year where Bitcoin stayed just going down. Yeah, that sucks, right? Yeah, that absolutely really, really sucks. But what happened? Bitcoin broke down. Death cross. 50 day underneath the 200 day. Try to break out. Boom. Try to break out. And this is over. Try to break out a few weeks. Try to break out. Boom. Then couldn't even get above the 50 day moving average. And it wasn't until April of 19, over a year later, before we were back in. That's why I'm saying it's not super incredibly safe to go long right now. Not super safe to go long because of just what I just showed you. Nuts, right? Absolutely nuts. I'll zoom in on it for you. Here's a day, here's a day. Do, do, do. How, how long did it stay close to here? 20 days, right? 20 days. How long did it stay close to this area? Nine days. What was his last little breakout? Do, do, do. Six days. So I'm just telling everybody, be cautious and don't be surprised if Bitcoin breaks down, okay? Because we have a nice level at 45,000 and then the next real level is going to be the $40,000 mark. This line right here. Let me just make a trend line for everyone to see. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, do I think we're going to get to those levels? I do. I absolutely do. And I get a lot of slack for being that guy, but I'm here to kind of help make you money, save you money. Don't buy euphoric, just obscene moves. Wait for a pullback and see what happens for, for good entries. There's a saying that markets can stay irrational longer than you can stay solvent. That's why you need to pay attention and be ready for some massive dump to happen. This is Johnny Crypto out.